to be a part of the academy. I think obviously Sir Alex created a, like a winning culture. Be there watching maybe a training session or come over and he'll have a word with you. And it was amazing to grow up in that environment. Hi, I'm Danny Welbeck and this is Box to Box. I've got a few boxes here today. I don't know what's in any of them. Hopefully they're not going to stitch me up and they're going to be friendly boxes, I hope. Ravel Morrison, Welbs is that guy. Okay, so this tweet, obviously uh, I grew up with Rav at Man United. It's after I scored a goal and then Rav's tweeted, uh, Welbs is that guy. And yeah, it's obviously blew up and then it stuck with me as like a little nickname. Are you still that guy? Pff, am I still that guy? We'll, we'll ask Rav. We'll have to tweet him out. We'll tweet him and ask him, am I still that guy? <laughs> so you, obviously you both played at Fletcher Moss Rangers. How much does that club mean to you? Yeah, Fletcher Moss uh, Rangers was obviously the, my local team. As Brown's dad took me there, we used to live directly opposite each other. From there, I just carried on playing. I was loving football, just enjoying it. And then I got picked up by Man United and that's how it all went. Yeah, I still speak to my manager from Fletcher Moss uh, to this day. Uh, we always have a few messages back and forth. He's Produced a few players in United City throughout the years and some for, for other clubs also. So it's great, you know, for the club, for the city as well. So it's very important and we know how much um, the grassroots clubs mean to a lot of communities. But Manchester's always home. All my family, my friends are all from there. So being from Manchester, uh, it's a great city. It's wonderful. And I think every time I go back there, it's, there's a new thing being built, like apartments, everything going up in the city and stuff like that. So it's one that's uh, it's going to be challenging London very soon. You've been a bit of a cult hero wherever you've played. Why do you think that is? Yeah, I, feel, I always feel the love from the fans um, at United. It was like local boy coming through and you always have that, that extra bit of affection. And then I went to Arsenal and uh, I had um, so much love from the Arsenal fans and you know it's reciprocated um, wherever I go I'm always, always going to give my best 100% try and um, win the games that I'm involved in and you know even when I'm not involved I'll be there to help the boys too so I'm just being me and you know trying to give my, give my all, give the best that I can every single day. Another box here, Macbook, is this mine? <laughs> You can't have a better example of teamwork than that, can you? See, what are you doing for your team? It's not been one individual. Maybe an individual has made a difference. But the team has always been good. All worked hard. There's nothing wrong with working hard. OK? Mm -hmm. Well done. You got a haircut. How <laughs> good is that lad? There's a lad that's on that. What are you putting it? Yeah. Gel. Gel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, that's important, eh? Things can go wrong because you're not going to be perfect the whole game. You're going to make mistakes, but you don't care. That's the main thing. The moment you make a mistake, it's over. You go for the next one. You never stop doing it. Yes. Oh, yes. That's the one. Excellent. Uh, class. Obviously, growing up at United and being a United fan and, you know, obviously following the team. To be a part of the academy and I think, obviously, Sir Alex created a like a winning culture. You're trying to get to the top, trying to get to the first team and so many like world-class stars there. You've got Sir Alex Ferguson, like top, top manager. It was amazing to grow up in that environment and you know, to finally get into the first team and be a part of it was uh, something special. Even there you can see he's, uh, he's with the with the young boys in the academy and he's, he's giving his words of wisdom and that's something that you felt a part of Manchester United even being like so young in the academy, he was still there and he'll, he'll be there watching maybe a training session or he'll come over and he'll have a word with you and yeah it's good to see, I've not actually seen that clip for however many years so since I was 12 years old so 2003 wow it's the, them words stick with you when you hear it coming from such a special human being. You also played under Arsene Wenger. Yeah he was completely different to how um, Sir Alex kind of managed football clubs, but they've both been so successful. It just shows that there's more ways to being successful than just doing it one way. And he was such a, a great man as well. You could speak to it, both of these managers about anything. They're always open to be giving advice and I'm fortunate enough to have played under underneath both of them. Okay. That one looked heavy, this. Is this it's heavy, yeah? Is Tarek Lamptey in here or what? <laughs> 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 
Okay, interesting. You're saying the weight's because there was that picture that came out in my guns. Are you in the best shape of your career? Best shape of my career is, uh, I don't know. Obviously, I like to look after my body, make sure that I eat well, sleep well, recover and everything. Who's lifting the most? We don't really do like heavy weights or anything like that, so. And who's struggling with the threes? <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna name names. <laughs> I'm not gonna name names, I'm not throwing them in it. But there's a few boys who struggle, even with the threes. You've been pretty unlucky with quite a few injuries. How do you deal with that mentally? It's tough, get injured. Uh, so many things go through your head. It's really difficult, but I think um, the main thing is just get a little bit of positive, even though it's difficult at the time. There's also things that you can do mentally that can that can help you. Obviously, if you get injured, you just think like, oh, your whole world's falling down, but there's much more to, to life than just um, and just football, which is, it's also very important to, to know that at the time as well. Take a few breaths, sit back and think things could be worse. How long do you think you can keep playing? Well, I'm feeling good, feeling very good. I'm just gonna keep myself in the best uh, nick possible and we'll see how, see how I get on. Coming down to Brighton has been very good. It's an amazing club, people from the top to the bottom. It's very well run. The lads, um, the change room, everything's uh, very good. It's a club that's it's on the up and with the players that we've got here, we're hungry and everybody's wanting to improve. Yeah, it's, it's got a good mix, good balance of um, experience and, and youth in there as well. So yeah, I'm really enjoying my time here and uh, long may it continue. So I've got two boxes here. All I know is that one of them's gonna have something that I love and one of them's gonna have something that I hate. It, it, dog, it, <laughs> Let's go for this one. It's not alive, is it? Oh, sick. Pure garage. Garage. Yeah, so I love this. I love this sort of music and yeah, growing up in Manchester, just brings back memories, man. Like very good memories. You know, when you just kind of hear some, uh, hear some music, it takes you back to a place like very nostalgic. Sometimes in my car, I'll put on a bit of UK garage. Do any of the boys know that you're a bit of a garage head? I don't care. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care if I'd get grief, but as long as my people know, like, they all know that I love garage music and yeah, that's what matters most. Sounds a bit weird. Is this a nightlight? <laughs> Yeah, I don't like night lights. Uh, I heard rumours that you were, you were scared of the dark. I used to be. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said that. I used to be scared of the dark. I used to be afraid of the dark. I couldn't sleep in a room that was pitch black. But now, I've channeled my mind now. I've beat it, I've overcome my fear. I can go to sleep just fine in pitch black. Congratulations. Thank you. It means a lot to me, actually. To be fair, yeah, I was really scared of the dark. <laughs> I used to sleep with my bedside lamp on every night. If you were scared at night and you needed to call someone, who are you FaceTiming? Define scared <laughs> of the dark. Of the dark, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I'll probably just FaceTime one of my boys. Just your mate? Yeah, mate from, from home. <laughs> that was Box to Box with me, Danny Welbeck. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace. <laughs>